institution after institution destroyed. This revolution, of course, began in academia, at the schools, higher education mostly, now moving downward into high schools and has been particularly virulent in private schools. The more prestigious, the worse. Latest example comes from New York City, the Dalton School. At Dalton, more than 100 faculty members have released an eight-page anti-racism manifesto with proposals so lunatic that it's hard to believe they're real. For example, they want the school to pay student debt for incoming black faculty, reroute 50% of all donations to the school to New York City's public schools, eliminate all advanced placement courses if any race does worse than any other, and so on and so on and so on. Scott Johnston broke the story in his blog, The Naked Dollar. He's the author of the book, Campus Land. We talked about that, which is a great book. He joins us again tonight. Scott, thanks so much for coming on. Give us an overview of this conflagration at the Dalton School in New York and why it matters. Uh, well, the faculty came up with this um, a manifesto, if you will, in August. And I think the school has tried to keep it under wraps since then. I know some parents have seen it. Now, now everyone's seen it. Um, and I would urge everybody not to take my word or your word for any of this. Um, I know the, the board had an emergency meeting after uh, my blog, The Naked Dollar, uh, printed out this entire manifesto. And they're writing it off as just a right-wing hit job. Um, don't take my word for it or your word for it. Go, go on my website or anywhere else and go, go read the whole thing. It's about eight pages long. And it's as if it was written by a freshman sociology major at Berkeley. Um, there's mandatory diversity plot lines in school plays. They want to hire 12 diversity officers. Bear in mind, this is a reasonably small uh, K through 12 school. 12 full-time diversity officers. I, I, I'm sort of mystified what they would do all day. The answer to that is they're going to have to find ever more nuanced examples of racism to, to justify their jobs. Although, put in context, by the way, my alma mater, Yale, has 150 full-time diversity officers. Uh, they want no more AP classes by 2023 if the black students have not uh, fully uh, uh, caught up with white students in terms of their qualifications for those classes. Interestingly, I'm, I'm told some of the parents who had no problem with a lot of this other woke stuff, uh, when it got to that one, said, oh, my God, I'll have to pull my kid if, if it comes to that. Um, <laughs> they want required anti-racism statements from everybody at the school, which uh, is eerily reminiscent of the, the struggle sessions during the Cultural Revolution with the Red Guard egging you on, where you had to confess to thought crimes. Um, honestly, what's so sad about this is that um, you know, while it burnishes the, the woke credentials of the, the white hierarchy at a place like Dalton, and mind you, this isn't just about Dalton, as you've been pointing out, this is across institutional America, um, it hurts the very people it's trying to help by creating, uh, by, by, by anointing them with permanent victim status, and it codifies race as a dividing principle. Uh, we're not moving to a post-racial society. In fact, Martin Luther King is, is on the outs with this crowd because uh, he advocated a colorblind society, and that's not at all what this crowd wants anymore. Well, and it's also destroying the rationale for the school. I mean, these schools are incredibly expensive. People send their kids there because they think they'll be improved and they'll get into some selective college. But you've got to kind of wonder if they're not sowing the seeds of their own elimination here. Who would send a kid to a school like that? Well, <laughs> uh, none of the parents will speak publicly because th those that do have a problem with any of this are, are terrified to say anything, you know, because, because Yale, because Harvard. Um, I, I, a school is the sum of its teachers more than anything else. And this is reflective of the sort of people places like Dalton are hiring as teachers. They are yeah. full on woke. And again, don't believe me, go read the statement. Uh, I, I if you think our, this is the product <laughs> of rational minds, uh, there must be something wrong with you. And I hope, and I hope that our viewers will, because it's it's really stunning, rippling with race hostility and really poisonous. Scott, thank, I appreciate your coming on tonight. Thank you. Thanks.